The most electrifying news in NASCAR this year is revving up the excitement for the NASCAR 2024 season. Shane Van Gisperken is officially back in the game, making his mark in NASCAR once more. Stay in the NASCAR zone as we delve into this worldwide sensation's incredible career and how he's set to light up the tracks in 2024. But before we dive into that, do subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. Guess what's happening? Shane Van Gisbergen, the three-time Australian Supercars champ, is making a big move across the globe to America. He's diving headfirst into the world of NASCAR, and it's not just a one-off deal. He's doing full-time in 2024. Just the other night, Trackhouse Racing spilled the beans. They announced that the victor of NASCAR's first-ever Chicago street race, none other than Shane Van Gisbergen, will be joining their NASCAR development program starting next year. Now, you might be wondering how this all came about. Well, Trackhouse Racing had already given Shane a taste of the NASCAR action in Chicago as part of their Project 91 initiative. This project is all about bringing in international motorsports stars and letting them loose in a NASCAR race car. And what a debut it was for Shane. After snagging the win on July 2, he couldn't contain his excitement. He mentioned that he'd love to make the move after another year down under in the supercars. But Shane didn't stop at that one win. He had a couple more races in the NASCAR Cup Series. On August 13, he tackled the road course at the iconic Indianapolis Motor Speedway and secured a respectable 10th place. Just two days prior, he made his paved oval debut in the NASCAR Truck Series at Indianapolis Raceway Park. He was in the lead lap for most of the race and finished 18th overall. Fast forward a bit, and Shane and his supercars team decided to part ways after their season ended, paving the way for his American adventure. Trackhouse is cooking up a development program for Shane in 2024 that's nothing short of thrilling. What we're looking at for 2024 is, you know, a number of cup races out of Trackhouse Racing and a bunch of Xfinity, some trucks, some Arca, some late model racing, and it's with, obviously, you're right, it's, you know, we're not going to start an Xfinity team, we're not going to start a truck team, but we have a lot of great partners that we work with inside the Chevrolet camp and just the relationships that we've got. So, so we have an opportunity to sort of curate a year of development for him where, you know, he can really learn the lifestyle and he can learn oval track racing and late model racing and, and, and just sort of, you know, how to put something together. So, you know, if there's an opportunity here for him to be a cup driver in 2025, we need to make sure that 2024 prepares him for that. When asked about his move to NASCAR, Shane couldn't hide his excitement, saying, this announcement means so many things to me. I'm proud of what I have achieved here in Australia, but I'm excited by this new chapter in my career and the opportunities that it brings. He continued, I'm so thankful to everyone who has played a role in my career so far, especially Triple Eight Race Engineering, and looking forward to finishing our year with a few more highlights. It is time for a new challenge, and this adventure into NASCAR will be the biggest challenge of my career and one I'm really looking forward to. I want to thank Justin Marks and everyone at Trackhouse Racing who have taken a chance on me and given me this opportunity. I'm excited to get to America and get the season started. It's clear that Shane Van Gisbergen is gearing up for a thrilling new chapter in his racing career, and his fans can't wait to see him shine on the NASCAR stage. Now, speaking of Shane's plans for 2024, what are your thoughts? We're all ears. Drop your thoughts in the comments. Be sure to hit the bell button and subscribe to our channel to get the latest updates. The NASCAR silly season is in full swing, and it was Martin Truex Jr.'s recent announcement at Michigan International Speedway that set the first major domino in motion for 2024. Truex, the 2017 Cup Series champion, has decided to extend his racing career at the age of 43 and it's no surprise given his impressive track record. With three wins in the series, points lead under his belt, he's well on his way to potentially earning a 15-point bonus for winning the regular season title, which would position him as the number one overall seed for this year's playoffs. Truex's decision to stay put with Joe Gibbs racing for 2024 takes one of the most coveted rides in NASCAR off the market. It's worth noting that, since 2015, only three elite organizations have clinched the championship. Joe Gibbs Racing, 
Hendrick Motorsports, and Team Penske. As we delve into the silly season updates below, you'll notice that 10 out of 11 seats for 2024 are already confirmed, and it's highly likely that Denny Hamlin's status will also be settled in the coming weeks. This leaves limited opportunities for cup-free agents or aspiring drivers who are looking to move up in the ranks. The pool of available seats got even smaller with the recent news that Front Row Motorsports has opted to retain Michael McDowell and Todd Gilliland for 2024. Hendrick Motorsports has solidified its commitment for the long term. The team's four-driver lineup has remained stable since Kyle Larson's signing prior to the 2021 season, and all four have inked long-term contract extensions in the past 18 months. The earliest potential free agent at HNMS would be William Byron at the end of 2025, marking a period of unprecedented stability within the organization since it expanded to four full-time cars back in 2002. Over at Richard Childress Racing, Kyle Busch has played a crucial role in restoring the organization's respectability. RCR, once a championship-level team that hasn't clinched a title since Dale Earnhardt Sr.'s seventh championship in 1994, is now in contention once again. Bush has secured three wins, earned an early playoff spot, and has a legitimate shot at securing his third championship this year. Meanwhile, Austin Dillon, although facing struggles, is locked in under a virtually lifetime contract as the grandson of team owner Richard Childress. So RCR's roster is secure for several more years. Then there's the powerhouse Joe Gibbs Racing. Three out of the four GGR drivers are already set for 2024, with Truex choosing to continue his journey. Ty Gibbs, a rookie with the organization, and the grandson of owner Joe Gibbs, as well as Christopher Bell, who made the championship four last year, are both staying put. As for Denny Hamlin, while nothing is officially announced, both he and Gibbs have consistently expressed that it's a mere formality for him to re-sign with the organization after the 2023 season. It certainly seems definitive, but in the world of NASCAR, you can't completely rule out the 0.1% chance that something unexpected might occur. When it comes to 2311 racing, the pieces seem to be falling into place for the 2024 season. Reddick and Wallace have signed long-term deals with the Hamlin-Michael Jordan team, indicating that no major driver changes are on the horizon for the team next year. Denny Hamlin, a key figure in the organization, has also made it clear that they intend to hold off on any expansion until at least 2025, coinciding with the first year of the new TV deal. However, there's a twist in the tale with college racing that could have a significant impact on charter purchasing and the overall composition of the Cup Series in 2024. Almond Dinger, who returned to Cup full-time in 2023 after a hiatus since 2018, has faced some challenges. While he managed to secure two more top five finishes and four more top 10 finishes in a partial schedule the year before, his performance in 2023 has been a bit of a struggle. Almendinger is highly regarded at college racing, and the decision to stay in the Cup or return to the NASCAR Xfinity Series to rebuild confidence seems to be in his hands. This choice could potentially open up seats at college racing, especially considering that Justin Haley has made the move to Rick Ware Racing for the 2024 season. As of now, the silly season landscape doesn't seem to be overly eventful. Aside from the likely opening at Legacy, the uncertainty surrounding the number 10 at Stuart Haas Racing, and some intriguing developments at Colleg Racing. However, in the world of NASCAR, surprises are never too far away. Despite the relatively quiet scene in August, there's still plenty of time left for the silly season narrative to heat up and keep us all guessing as we head into late summer. NASCAR fans can always expect the unexpected, and the 2024 season may still have some surprises in store. That's all for today. Hope you enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to see more of our videos on NASCAR updates. Look forward to seeing you in the next video.